Hey there. Let's talk about healing and whether it's necessary, which it could be, it may be necessary, and how that really works. What is healing when they talk about healing in the general spiritual community? Do you really need healing for yourself? And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, do I really need healing for my twin flame relationship? Well, let's talk about healing first and what that really is. And let's talk about it in a very straightforward, empirical, no-nonsense way. Healing in the spiritual sense, and this is what I call extra spiritualism. And the reason that I call it extra spiritualism is because true spiritualism at its core is spirit. Hence the name. What is spirit? Consciousness. So the reason I call it extra spiritualism is because it's something else. It's an add-on to consciousness. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's bad. If anything, healing can be very good. And I'm going to help you do that. So what is that? What is healing in the extra spiritual sense? Well, let's look at it in the conventional sense first. In psychology, they say that you haven't entered therapy, in quotation marks, until you are conscious of the mental patterns going on in your mind. This is a very important talking point. This is the foundation of this entire teaching. It's not enough for the patient to go to the therapist's office and talk to them. And they could be doing that for months or years and never, ever enter therapy. Just because you entered their office does not mean that you have entered therapy. And this is in the conventional sense of psychology and psychotherapy. This is not something I came up with. This is what a psychologist will tell you. You have only entered therapy when you are actually conscious of your own mental patterns. So there's two things going on there. There's consciousness and there are mental patterns that the consciousness is aware of. And I think a lot of you probably already know where I'm going with this. You are body, mind, soul. The soul is consciousness and it's what you are. The body and the mind are what you have, just like an astronaut that wears a space suit. And I'm not just playing around with the words to get my way with this teaching. That is literally the infrastructure of the three-part triune being. You are the soul, which is consciousness. You have a body and a mind, just like an astronaut has a space suit. We don't say, I am the space suit. No, I am the astronaut, but I have a spacesuit. And the spacesuit, or the body and mind, in my analogy, are good things, actually, if you know how to use them properly. And it starts with consciousness, which is what you are. You cannot enter therapy. No matter how many times you go see your therapist, you cannot enter therapy until you are conscious of the mental patterns. Now, the psychologist or therapist isn't going to describe it in this way. As a matter of fact, conventional psychology is fairly convinced that you are your mind. You are the personality, the ego, although that's starting to change. And as a matter of fact, even conventional psychology is starting to accept, or actually I should say has a long time ago, this kind of started happening in the 1970s and 1980s, where mindfulness meditation is something that they incorporate into a psychological program. 
program of therapy for the patient. So even conventional psychology is aware that awareness is huge for entering therapy. They just haven't broken it down scientifically the way that I have. And they refuse to accept that you are not your personality. They actually think that consciousness is derived from the brain and that's preposterous. Every single one of you watching knows that that is not true. And it's not your problem, it's not your responsibility to correct or to repair the error in the psychological community. And I've got no problem calling them out on this. If anybody in the psychological community is watching this video, you guys need to wake up. You are not a physical vessel only. It's something that you have. And it is absolutely irresponsible, dangerous, and reckless to deny that we are conscious beings. The psychological community is doing a grave disservice to humanity by approaching things this way, and it needs to stop. Now, that said, what of the extra spiritual practice of healing? It's exactly the same thing, only you are aware of who you really are. You are the conscious being. You are the awareness. You have a mind and a body. The mind is thought. The mind is duality. Thoughts are duality. I like it, I don't like it. It's good, it's bad. It's right, it's wrong. Past, future, here, there, me, you, etc. duality. And the mind is not bad. That's just what it is. The mind is not defective because it is duality. That's its job. That's its purpose. That's its function. And as long as you believe you are the personality, the mind is going to malfunction. So you just need to remember who you are. You are the awareness. And that's very liberating for you. Healing is where you bring awareness to the retained thought and emotional patterns of the mind. Your whole life, you have believed that you were this personality. You have derived your very sense of self from a collection of mental and emotional patterns. And it's not your fault. It's the cultural myth. It's the human condition. You know, like the Bible says, the sins of the father were vested upon the son. That's what they're talking about. Now, it's not your fault, but it is only you who can change it. And to heal the mental and emotional patterns of the personality, it starts with the true self, which is consciousness, the soul. You are consciousness. That's who you really are. You have these mental and emotional patterns called a personality. And you can continue to have a personality. The personality isn't bad. But when you believe that's who you are, a collection of forms, identities, I'm this person, I'm this role that I play in life. This is my job. This is what I do for work. This is who I am at home. I'm a mother. I'm a brother. I'm a whatever. I have all this knowledge, information. I've had all these experiences, your history. That's the personality. It's a collection of memories. That's not who you are, guys. And again, I'm not saying that that is bad. But you cannot repair the damage. You cannot heal unless you remember who you are first. So do you need to heal? Do you need to fix the personality? No, actually. You can. It's optional. But it starts, step one, with remembering who you are. You are not fucking damaged. You are not your mind. You are not the personality. You are not fucking damaged. You are free and you are whole because you are consciousness. You are the soul. 
It is the personality that is damaged. And the personality, again, is thought. Thought is duality. And it just so happens that on planet Earth, we have chosen to program the personality in a chiefly negative way. And you have to pick one or the other. The mind is duality. That's all it can be. So it's either going to be positive or negative. So now that you're aware that you are awareness and you can see the personality, you see that it is mostly negative, perhaps. Or that there's a lot of negativity there. You can actually reprogram those things. Stop believing the negative thought patterns and negative emotional patterns and reprogram them with positive ones. I'm gonna tell you how. But it starts with remembering who you are. You are not your fucking mind. You do not need healed. You can heal the mind, which is what you have, but you do not need healed. You are not broken. You're not. You really got to get that, guys, for this to work, for you to reprogram the personality in a positive way. You are the programmer, consciousness, the self, the true self, the soul is the programmer. The personality is the programming. The programming is what you have. The programmer is what you are. Stop believing that bullshit. Stop telling yourself, I'm broken. I need fixing. This is going to take time. This is going to take time. That's the worst possible myth that you could believe. You are the believer. Thought patterns are not beliefs. There's another cultural myth. Stop calling these old thought patterns beliefs. Just because everybody else does does not mean that they are beliefs. They are thought patterns. You are the believer. And you can choose not to believe them. Every single one of you has heard it said that you don't have to believe your own thoughts. So if you can believe or not believe thought patterns, what does that tell you about what belief really is? Belief is the self. Belief is the consciousness, the soul. This is a tool, guys. And please use this tool. The words you say are your tools. I'm giving you armor and tools and weapons to use, so to speak. It's not really a battle. The mind is what tells you it's a battle. What I said a moment ago was just a metaphor. Watch what you, the self, the consciousness, the awareness is believing. Stop believing that this is going to take time. I just need to heal. This is a process. I'm so damaged. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop believing that. That's a story. You can be healed today. You can live your life to the fullest right now. Every identity form about this is a process. This is a journey. This is going to take time. There's so much damage. I need space to do this. It's all a lie. Those are thoughts, not beliefs. Stop believing them. You can be healed right fucking now. Healed is what happens when you remember who you are. Healing is what happens when you are not remembering who you are. You keep rebuffing this idea that you continue to believe that this is a process and I'm damaged and this is going to take a long time. And let's face it, in the general spiritual community, you see that again and again and again and again and again and again, and it needs to fucking stop. All of these charlatans who call themselves spiritual teachers continue to push the idea that this is a process and it takes time. No, it fucking doesn't. You are free today. You are whole today. Isn't that nice? And by the way, don't you think it's funny how healers, they keep you trapped in that pattern 
They keep you stuck in this conversation, in this story about how this is a long process and this is going to take forever and we got to fix your wounding. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And then you know what's interesting? And this always happens. This happens to my students all the time. One day they get out of bed and they feel better and they go, oh, I'm fucking healed. Healing is no longer necessary. And why did that happen? Because I recognized that the whole story about how I am healing and this is going to take time was itself a lie. I kept believing that I had to go through this stage of healing and that it would take years. And the other spiritual teachers that are on the internet parroting the same tired old bull crap about healing, I asked a question of them. When are you healed? And it's interesting because if you are healed, then you do not need them anymore. And they don't like that. That's their fear. And it's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. That's their fear. And they're going to keep emailing you and blowing up your inbox and blowing up YouTube with shit about how you fucking need them to do your healing. And I ask you, okay, fine, I'll do the healing, but when am I healed? When does it end? And they go, oh, it's just going to take longer. I'm sorry. Stop believing that story. You're the believer. And I know they're just trying to help, guys. I'm not here to talk shit about anybody. I know they think they're just trying to help you, but they're not. You are free today. Stop believing this story, this cycle that I need continuous amounts of healing until I die. Fuck that. You can break the cycle today. Today. You can shut down these patterns today, right now. When you remember who you are. And any old thought patterns that come up, Here's the technique, here's the tool. If you have a limiting thought pattern that comes up, number one, stop calling it a limiting belief. It's not, you're the belief. You, the self, the soul, the conscious awareness. So that's number one. Remember, it is a thought pattern. So here comes this negative thought pattern, this limiting thought pattern. I'm not good enough, I'm broken, whatever it is. Step two is say, I don't believe that anymore. Step three, do the complete reverse. I'm not broken. I am not limited. I'm free. I'm amazing. And that's what I believe. Remember, you are the believer. Step one, those are thought patterns. Step two, when a negative thought pattern comes up, say, I don't believe it. Step three, do the exact reverse and say, I do believe that. Do it a thousand times a day, however long it takes. This is how you, the programmer, reprogram the personality. Stop believing that you are broken. That's a story. And you, you can stop believing it today. Stop believing that endless healing is necessary. Guys, what I'm teaching you today is real healing. Am I teaching you healing? Sure. Because I'm telling you how you can be healed. Healing takes place when you recognize that you can be fully healed. And by the time you realize that you are fully healed, it's because you realized you were never broken. You just have to remember who you are. Stop believing the story. Again, someone who does this for months or years and they finally get out of bed one day and they say, I'm free, I'm healed. It's because they go, I just believed that I was broken for so long. It was a story that I was broken and I needed healing. It's a fucking story. And the mind is persistent. These thought patterns are persistent. I don't make any bones about that. <clears throat> This could take time, so to speak, in quotation marks. You may have to do that exercise, the three steps that I gave you. 
thousands of times. So do it. Reprogram yourself. Reprogram this little bug. <laughs> okay, my friend. It's that simple, guys. Stop believing these narratives. Stop believing these stories. That's not who you are. You can do it today. Stop telling yourself you're broken and it's going to take time and I need healing. That's an identity. That's the personality. The soul is not an identity, guys. The soul is the self. The self is consciousness. An identity is a thought form. And I'm not saying that's bad, but that's what that is. You are not form. You are consciousness. You are free. And that's all you are. That's all you ever were. And that's all you will ever be. Remember who you are. See ya.